Hello, my friends, and welcome back to our blind let's play of Little Hope, the second dark picture story. My name is Afflet Despair. This is your story based gaming channel, and today we are actually going to be beginning the actual game. I think. Uh, you know, it's funny because you might have said, Flutter's Bird, you should have known that the game would begin with characters that you can't save. I mean, every single one of Supermaster stories have began in the same way. But here's the thing. It's my belief that you can't go into a game blinded by conceptions or, or you know, thoughts of how the game is going to work. Uh, for two reasons. One, it takes away from the game you're playing and it focuses too much on the games you played. And two, the game could always surprise you. So even though I should have known there was nothing we could have done to save those people, it, it still felt like there was something that I could have done. A little bit frightened, a little bit afraid because... Uh, I, I, I don't really like witches. I don't like witch stories. Except if it stars Anya Taylor-Joy because she is amazing. But for the most part, uh, witch stories aren't my thing usually. But here we go. Family. Clark Family Home, Massachusetts. I believe the curator said we have a funeral to attend. Oh boy. Don't forget to put on your headset, turn down the lights, turn up the volume, and just let this experience wash over you and enjoy the story being told. Go away, Raven. I don't like Ravens either. None of us here today can understand why this tragic accident happened. But we can take comfort from the knowledge that the family are together. Is it a raven or a crow? I think it's a crow. In God's loving embrace. Let's hope so. That family was really messed up. Let's hope they found peace. It really made you think, though, that those were the characters you were playing, though. Because there were so many different characters in that house. You know, there was the brother... Uh, there were two brothers, a sister, actually two sisters. Whoa. Okay, yeah, uh, how to make a funeral scene seem even more creepy. Add lightning, got it. Andrew, 18, college student, anxious and detached. <clears throat> Wait a second, wasn't weren't we Andrew at the beginning? Taylor, twenty two, college student, headstrong and sensitive. John, forty three, college professor, rational and overbearing. Where the hell's Daniel? I can't find him. I don't know. Or Taylor, bus crash site, ah! 106, May 27. Instead of goofing around, you want to lend a hand here? Uh, compassionate or terse? Uh, there's, there's no reason for us not to be compassionate. I mean, it looks like, you know, the dude's messed up. How is he doing anyway? It doesn't look that serious. Could be concussed. Okay, Professor. Or should I call you doctor now? Why don't you try calling for help? <coughs> Maybe the cops, someone like that. Sarcastic, never thought of that. Compliant, I'm on it. Compliant. I already tried once, but I'm on it. Now, I know in uh, Men of Madonna, so I was going to try to play to the best as what I thought the characters would play. Hey, Andrew, buddy, how you doing? But I don't want to sit here and do this and say, okay, is this person sensitive? Are they hopeful? Uh, maybe they're flirtatious, so we got to do that. Uh, I'm 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 going to like try to avoid this trade screen because I know it can be distracting from the gameplay, and I'm just going to try to let the characters develop themselves as I just go through the game. Uh, so if I see a character like being rude to someone, then I'll just continue that train of thought. But if I don't see it, you know, I'll just do what I think any normal human person would do in that situation. 
By the way, on the top left corner, I noticed that our relationship improved. It actually said, you know, it, it showed like a green arrow going up. So a little bit of a uh, mechanical improvements in the background. Are we? What happened? Yeah, the bus crashed. We're okay though, just shaken up. If you say so. I don't remember being in any crash. You're, you're probably in shock. Maybe a mild concussion in there too. Give yourself some time. Stay here. Don't move. So this is the people in the bus after the bus got overturned. <sighs> Fucking thing, useless piece of crap. May as well be dead. Okay, take it easy. We'll figure out what to do. Uh. Uh. I thought he had a broken leg there for a second. Daniel, 20, college student as well. Amiable and Fuck. defensive. Where's my phone? <sighs> and that looks like our fifth person in the cast. Angela, she's 48, mature student, abrasive and understanding. Hey, anyone up there? That's the interesting hey, thing about Daniel, college. Daniel, that you? John, good to hear you. You know, you can Daniel? be someone who's older and be with younger people because Taylor, college you okay? doesn't really care about age. I'm good. We're fine too, thanks for asking. You okay down there? I'm all right, nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John, any idea what caused the crash? Not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. Where is the driver? He down there, by the way? Nope, no sign of him. Weird. He isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. I see a trail down here I could try. Great. Take the trail. Should take you to the road. We can regroup there. That's a plan. See you soon. <coughs> oh. Hey, Taylor. Help me get Andrew up on his feet, will ya? Wait. I don't remember anything. Who are you? It's okay. You're concussed. I'm John, you're a college professor. <coughs> we were taking a bus on a field trip, but that didn't work out so well. Crash wasn't on the curriculum. <laughs> uh, we'll find the others, get some help. Think of it as a character building exercise. Press a matching prompt, square. <sighs> so supposedly, did you see Teamwork the hand? at its finest. Like come out? I had this dream. It was so real. It's supposed to like warn you. Flames all around us. It was grim. That bang on the head must have been a beauty. That trail the others are on will come out down the road. We'll meet them there. Uh, I read something about that when I was putting together a description on the YouTube page that uh, fans complained at Man and Madonna about the button pops being just popping up out of nowhere and not having enough time to react. So apparently that's the first sign that we see that they changed that slightly. But there's like a little hand that says, okay, there's about to be a button prompt, be ready, which is kind of cool. Uh, current objective, follow John, meet up with Angela and Daniel and find the bus driver. Uh, reluctant, widely the bus, insistent. Um, uh, reluctant. We should talk this through. Why leave the bus? Not like we have somewhere better to wait. No, we could be here all night. Our best move is to get to the others, then head towards town. See if we can find some help. See, normally when you're split up though, you don't... When, when, when you're lost, you don't split up. You stay where you are. Puzzled. Confident. Um, I'm actually puzzled more than confident. Where's the driver? Shouldn't he be back by now? The driver's done what we should be doing. Gone into town for help. So that means we should stay. Uh, not really aggressive. Um. Fine. Uh, let, let's go along. You're right. Let's go. I'm with you. I'm right? The quicker we get help, the quicker we can all go home. Stick close behind me. And the reason I say that is because he's the leader of the group. He's the college teacher. So most likely we should probably um, hey, do as he says. That's the wrong way. It might be, but... We should walk towards town. The, all three of us together. There's stuff over here. The Wild Magic. A History of Modern Paganism by S. Dutton. An eye-opener, weekly report, clears up many historical misconceptions and inspirational work. Fascinating insight. 
In the Wild Magic, A History of Modern Paganism, Dutton takes us on an introductory tour of the rich and complex history of modern paganism. He reflects on its origins and persecution during early Christianity through its evolution, acceptance, and growing popularity in the world today. Oh, there's more in here. Whoa! That's new. Uh, chapter 4, Objects Associated with Pagan Beliefs. For centuries, sacred objects have been associated with pagan worship. Objects do not hold power, but focus and channel their user's energy. The form carries meaning. Objects can help connect with the ancestors, speak spiritual an answers, permit deep introspective thinking, or interpret messages from the cosmos. Sacred objects are important in all aspects of paganism. Objects such as a pentacle, moon, and crystals carry seasonal significance and have deep connections to soul and nature. The Wiccan year is an agricultural cycle that begins and ends with Yule, the winter solstice that marks the death and rebirth of the sun. Objects such as bowline and chalice relate to special fates such as the start and end of the harvest. Figure 1. Year wheels are ornamental, but the bowline has practical use in the ceremony for cutting herbs or cords. Um, so the, the bowline, is it that moon cutting thing? It almost looks like the, uh, the, the wand from Sailor Moon. Paganism is eclectic as a variety of sacral, sacral objects demonstrates. The uses are passed down through tradition and esoteric knowledge. Some pagans keep a book of shadows for a record of the objects should be used. Figure 2. The moon is often used as a focus for silical ceremonies and is often regarded as feminine in aspect, associated with intuition and secrets. Tools. Sacral objects are tools, often with a utilitarian purpose. The bowline, staff, and lancet are not venerated, but employed in ritual. They are transformative, advancing the ceremony through cutting, piercing, or sound. Practicing pagans find that making their own tools enhances this spiritual connection. However, not all objects need be purchased or made. Found objects, such as household items, make effective substitutes, such as a teacup, a teacup substituting for a chalice. And yes, this is your story-based gaming channel, so I do believe in finding as much lore as possible. I don't necessarily consider myself to be a completionist in all regards, though. As we saw in a Man of Madame playthrough, I played through three times, and I had a lot of fun with it, and I was ready to move on. I didn't really feel the need to have a playthrough where I used a guide to find all the secrets. Because sometimes when you use a guide... Just taking off like that and ditching us? Maybe you didn't realize. Could just be in shock. We're his responsibility, his passengers. He can't just stroll off. There's a light over there. You see it? Uh, sometimes using a guide can take away the fun of a game. And I don't want to take away the memories I had of Mina Madan because I'm so obsessed on finding every single secret. Uh, sometimes, of course, uh, if I'm playing an RPG, however, or a game like the Zero Escape series, I, I will be a completionist. So it all depends on the type of game. But I like to tell stories. And we're going to tell three different stories. One is going to be our first playthrough. Um, then we're going to do a failure run where we fail everything. And then we'll do the curator cut. And then after that, you know, hopefully uh, we'll be playing Resident Evil 8 next. And then the next, um, the, the third dark picture story will hopefully come out. Welcome to Little Hope. Abandon. Oh, Abandon Hope. Oh, Little Hope is crossed out for Abandon Hope. Okay. Of course, a reference to Dante Allegari's uh, Inferno, Abandon Hope, All Ye Who Enter Here. Welcome to Unreadable Abandon Hope. How's that unreadable? I mean, come on, that's not unreadable. You know this place? Little Hope? See, she can read it. No. I mean, I don't think so. You should both know Little Hope. Uninterested or curious? I'm actually curious. Why should I have heard of this place? Seriously, this place is steeped in history. Fascinating stuff. Uh, not dismissive. Uh, curious. H how do you know all this stuff anyway? <laughs> I'm a professional academic. I read books, unlike some. Wow, that's kind of dismissive. <laughs> Easy, Einstein. I can match everything you got with just a smartphone. Well, your phone isn't so smart without a signal. Maybe that's just friendly banter, though. 
There's nothing that needs to be confrontational there. Oh, look at this mist and this fog. Good to see you two. We finally made it. Everything okay? I was going over to the side. We're both good. But this gate is chained. We can't get through. Now what do we do? Look around. See if there's anything we can use to break it. Think this'll do it? Am I? Ready? I'll push hard from my side. Ready. Three, two, one, push. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Great job, you two. I wasn't ready for that. It's like the way the button was on the screen threw me off. What's the plan now? Head into town, see if we can get help. You know where town is? Sure, we're near Little Hope. Sounds like a fun place. Funnily enough, Little Hope does have an interesting and dark history. Uh, I'm not bored. I'm not impatient. Uh, this is one of those cases where saying nothing I think is actually the best thing you can do because both of them are kind of rude. Bad things happened here a long time ago. Which you are dying to tell us all about. I'm starting not to like you or your attitude. Wow. I'm not even started yet. You want a little more? Try to be civil. Cost nothing. I agree. That's rich, given how you badmouth Taylor on the way over. What did she say about me? You always get your boyfriend to stick up for you? Try doing it yourself sometime, dear. Hmm. Okay, so there's some antagonism here, so... Uh... I'm not wasting another breath on you. Quit it, will you? The last thing we need is you causing trouble. Keep out of our business, okay? We are wasting valuable time here. Can we please just keep moving? You think this is a solid plan, heading into town? As good as any. I went along with it before, but I'm not so sure now. So what do you want to do? How about you come with me back to the bus? Okay. I think it's a good idea to stay at the bus, to be honest. I still think the smart move is for us all to stick together. You'd be glad we didn't stick together after we flagged down a car and come rescue your ass. We should all stick together and we should all go to the bus. I'm actually with her on that. I mean, you can wait out the night. You it's get not lost? such a big deal. No. We're back here? This doesn't add up. Wait, what? This is some very weird shit going on here. What the heck? Spare us all. First he loses his pride, then he loses his way. What are you trying to say? That you've lost it. It's not possible. Look, I don't know what you're trying to prove here, but we've got better things to do. Daniel? Whoa. Hey, careful. Watch out. Quit fucking around and tell me what's going on here. Okay, Two of us will creepy. go together. This is getting ridiculous. Indulge me. So they walk into the fog, and yet somehow they end up walking back the way they just came? This is weird. This is not natural. What? what? I walked away from you! We're trapped here! There's no way out! I, I don't understand! She's right. We walked dead straight going away from you. So how'd we end up back here? Okay, let's try something. We'll all go together. We came from that direction. We must be able to go back that way. I want everyone to stay real close. No stragglers. You want to put us on a kid's line? Okay, Angela. okay, I'm coming. Thank you. You know, I've never seen Seaman Kings of Hog or Reddit. Or The Mist, right? It's called The Mist. See, like I said, I haven't read it. Um, I haven't seen the movie, but I do know of it. And this is starting to feel a lot like it. I'm just waiting for the giant tentacle monsters to come attack us. I admit that is a little odd. A little? More than a little. Yeah. See? What did I tell you? It's just like I've been saying, we are trapped. We can't leave here. Now okay. what can we do? Okay, calm down, breathe. There's a rational explanation for what's happening. Maybe we all died in the crash. Yeah, nice theory, but I'm pretty sure we're all still alive and kicking. Last I checked, you were schooling us on creative writing, not 
metaphysics. I know who I'd like to be kicking. This is all down to you, this pissy little field trip. Now we're stuck here in little no-hope. That is way out of line. I had no way of knowing that damn bus would crash. You can't put that on me. Are you for fucking real? Watch your tone, will you? I am doing my best to understand this, just like you and the rest of us. The sound is so weird. It's like echoing and it's, it's even adding more nervousness. Um, she's angry. I'm gonna let her continue to be angry. You can't understand this. Don't you get that yet? What I do understand is none of us would fucking be here if it wasn't for you. You think I'm to blame? I don't want to be stuck here with you either. Nice. You're the guy in charge. We're definitely fucked. Right now, the fog appears to be in charge. Anyone but you, right? Do us all a big favor and get lost in the fucking fog. I wish I could Please believe me. Stop. Fighting isn't going to help. Where do we go now? We're fucked. We're not getting out of here. Someone else thinks they can do a better job? Step right up. Maybe it isn't real. We have to get out of here right now. I need to think straight. Take a football coaching. Why the fuck? Can everyone just shut up? I think that's this Andrew. This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of like here. Like all the extra sound? That's Andrew like dealing it's with right. his concussion. Bitching at each other isn't getting us anywhere. We have to work together as a team. Thank you. Now let's be logical. The fog is between us and the bus. There is no fog between us and town, so let's head that way. I don't get how heading further away from the bus helps. There is nothing on the bus we can use to get help. In town, there will be people, a working phone, something. It pains me to admit, but he's right. There is nowhere else we can go except into that damn town. Sounds like a plan to me. You leaving me? Where are you going? Come on, let's go with them. Until we know what's up, we should stick together. Oh boy. Off to an exciting beginning already. Anything down here? Stick close to Daniel. Follow John toward town. And of course, what am I doing? The complete opposite. Oh, a black cat. Whoa! Make sure you saw we can be viewed again in the collections. Oh. Oh, okay. So definitely need to find the pictures. Oh, hello. I'm glad you came with me. You almost gave me a jump scare there. Because I turned and I thought I saw something. And I was like, there, please let there be someone behind one. Because if there's not someone behind me, then I'm going to be really, really freaked out. But there was. Alright, let's head into town, shall we? Why did you say we might all be dead? You really think that's possible? I saw some cable show about how your brain keeps going for a while after you... You know. You die? Forget about it. What they said didn't really stack up. Great. I don't like the look of that place at all. Maybe they won't ask for ID. That'd be really interesting if we were Did actually all that? dead. What was that? At least someone is home. Oh, did light come on? I'm not sure this is such a great idea. We should check it out. There could be a phone inside. I'll go in and take a look around. Go ahead. We'll be right behind you. Why aren't we going with those guys? Angela knows there's something between us. That's obvious. We're really going to get into this now? Like we've got no other bigger shit to deal with tonight? This is a big deal. For me, anyhow. I'm telling you, Angela is onto us. She knows. Who cares? Uh, what did you talk about? A kid's story. Ah, probing. What did you two talk about? She was digging around like she always does. Uh, suspicious. Gleeful! Let her imagine whatever she wants. Probably drives her crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely some fire between her and I'm the old I'm not ready to go public about us yet. I will be soon, I promise. Anything I can do to help convince you I'm the right guy? I need to know 100% I can rely on you. That you'll never let me down. 
We should catch up with the others. I don't understand why that needs to be a we secret. Are standing here all night or are we going inside? I was waiting for that. I was like, something's gonna happen, something's gonna happen. I wasn't expecting a spear point though. I was expecting a cat or an arm or a leg or a zombie body. Wait. Hello there. Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. What is? What's up with the fog outside? It's pretty weird. Yeah, it sure is a thick one tonight. So thick it's stopping us from leaving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. This guy is... You mean you're trapped uh, sorry too? for busting in like this. Uh, bus we were on crashed a little way back up the road there. We're still a little shaken up. We're still a lot shaken up. You certainly look shook up. I'm Vince. I need a mirror. Maybe there's one here not covered in 20 years. Of Sounds like you could use a drink. John, Better Black Cat Thanks. Bar, 1138, May 27th. Clear head. <laughs> it's right there if you change your mind. Resolute. Now for me, reckless. I could use one. Um, uh, now's not the time to be drinking. Not for me. Why are you even here? Little hope sure isn't the town it used to be. Suspicious or curious? I'm more curious than suspicious. What happened here? The place seems completely deserted. Little hope feels a little like a ghost town. And that fog? Life moves on, you know. But we don't all go with it. Puzzled or questioning? I, I, I don't have any reason to really be suspicious right now. Um, except for the fog, but not suspicious of him. Questioning. There a phone in here? We can use a way of contacting the outside world. There's a phone. But it's been dead for years. Of course. You know, maybe there's still one working in town. Oh, they're playing darts. What is this guy's problem? There's definitely something off about him. <laughs> uh, he's harmless. Just had one too many. Let's look around. There must be something here that can help us. See what you can dig up. Uh, he's in a world of his own. An old darts board. I was pretty good back in the day. Stay. Play a little, no problem. I'm gonna take a look around. I read how all the darts are back. <clears throat> all the darts were on the, <clears throat> the bottom, and now suddenly they're in uh they're on the board. At least I'm looking for a way out. What are you Just doing? a quick throw, and then we'll figure out how we're getting out of here. Try for a big double. Or... Not my first time, Daniel. Shooting for double twenty. Oh, it's so much easier to control okay, that. Okay, so you can play a little. Still got it. Now for triple 20. Remember, Man of Madon, I could never hit that. But you see how easy it is to move this thing now? Like, it's much more responsive. Well, almost an Olympic shot after the night we've had. They don't play darts in the Olympics. Go for bullseye. Well, that is one hell of a shot. <laughs> you did better than Taylor. Let's get back to why we came in here. No, it's weird. I was watching on TV an axe throwing contest the other day. Yes, they literally have guys who compete throwing axes at targets, and it, it was just—I don't know. It, it was—it was so different. I had a watch of it. Can I talk to any of you all? 
Guess not. The controls are just so much more responsive in this game. I don't know what they changed, but it just feels better. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, sorry. Um, I didn't really get anything from that. Can I try that again? There we go. Meeting votes for disincorporation. Mm. I vaguely remember what happened here. All the factories closed down. New round of foreclosure spells end for town. At Little Hope Town Hall on Monday, the last residents of the town met with emergency manager Kathy Flint to vote for disincorporation. Since the closure of the Ravenden Textiles factory, a mass exodus has left the town with few inhabitants in empty coffers. Flint was appointed as emergency manager to administer public services to remaining residents. But the latest round of bank foreclosures means the last of the townsfolk are planning to pack up and move on, which will leave Little Hope virtually deserted. With no tax revenue coming in, we're faced with no option but to disincorporate, said Flint. It's so sad, these people have seen their town disappear around them. Attempts to... To... Okay. Guess they don't want me reading the rest of that newspaper. Uh, these are... These are dartboard numbers, I'm pretty sure. Because I played Persona 5 Royal, and I remember there was a game called 301 with darts, and it looks at the top, 301. Secret this found. place has some great history. Are your children interested in astrology, spirits, or ghosts? Reverend Carson will advise parents on signs to watch for and how these things are the left-hand path to delinquency and Satanism. Little Hope Town Hall, Tuesday, 6-16-1970. Yeah, that is some history right there, especially if this took place in 2020. And I think, that means that thing's been sitting there for 50 years. Are you kidding me? June 6, 1917? I can't believe it. These guys could be relatives. Who? Oh. Which guys? I've already picked that one up. It'd be cool if this was like some sort of time travel game. I mean, we played Chrono Cross, we played Zero Escape. Hey! It wouldn't be way. out of the norm. Let's get out of here and... Oh, I didn't mean to actually leave the building. You all I want to that? search some more. I definitely heard something. Did you hear that as well? Come on. Whatever it was came from outside. I really think it's smart to go back outside? Well, there's nothing for us here. We need to move on. Oh, I want to explore some more. Darn it. Best of luck. Hope you find what you're looking for. The only problem is, once you do something in this game, it automatically saves so you can't undo it. Whoa, that's weird. Oh, I want to explore some more. I'm sorry, you guys. Not much I can do about that. All right, well, my name is The Place Player. This is just Toy Base Gaming Channel. We are playing a blind let's play of... Of Little Hope. <laughs> this game has me on edge. I can't even remember what the name of the game is anymore. Uh, the game is Little Hope, the second black... Second Dark Pictures Anthology. And, ooh, you're getting a lot of very weird vibes from this game so far. I'm interested to see where the story takes it, especially with the whole, you know, feel of magic and witchery. Uh, we haven't had witches in a uh, in a Dark Picture horror game yet, so I think that's kind of cool. Until next time, my friends. So long, and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter, you are brilliant, and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.